Um, but also I want to take a moment and thank Josephine's for the space and for being such a great But I have been given the task of introducing a woman whose reputation precedes her. She's fantastic. Um, so when I first found out about, the first time I ever heard about uh, Delegate Jennifer Carol Foley um, was actually before the election. Um, and so this was when, I believe it was during the primary when you were still with child? Yes. Yes. <laughs> with two. And so I, I see this like video and it's someone who's out canvassing, she's knocking doors and she's pregnant with twins and I'm like, holy oh but Jesus, that is the power of women. <laughs> Remain a woman who is leading for all of us. Um, she has been a champion for Medicare expansion. <laughs> but more importantly, for this topic that we're talking about tonight, um, she's been a champion for criminal justice reform. Yes. So last year, yes, yes. So last year, Delia Carafoy uh, was the patron of the bill that increased the delegate, the larceny threshold. Um, from $200 to $500, yes. which completely changed the landscape of how we incarcerate people in Virginia. Um, so that is fantastic, and we appreciate all of your wonderful efforts. Uh, there's so much more to do, both in Arlington and across the Commonwealth. But thankfully, with folks like Jennifer Carapoli in the General Assembly, it gives me optimism that we are going to move forward as a Commonwealth. Without further ado, I'm going to hand over the microphone to her. Alright, so I'm already tall. This makes me really tall. So I love it, I love it. So good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Um, my name is Delegate Jennifer Carroll Foy and I represent Prince William and Stafford in the House of Delegates. So first off, I would like to thank all of you for being here at this wonderful event to support a wonderful person doing something that will be historic. So, I actually was an Arlington public defender for years. So I understand what happens in this county, and I understand what happens in those courtrooms. So I'm not here to talk about how once to twice a week, I would have a client who oftentimes always was homeless and would get arrested for interdiction just for having the smell of alcohol on their breath or having alcohol or beer can close to their person. And instead of being offered housing or addiction services, they were offered six months in jail, nine months in jail, 12 months in jail for purchasing or possessing alcohol. Only us and one other state in this entire country has something so outdated and archaic on the books. And with being a Commonwealth attorney, there's this little thing called discretion. Yeah. <laughs> and you have the ability to say that there are things that we will focus on, such as violent crimes. And then there are other things that we will divert or try to help people that need it the most. I'm not gonna spend much time talking about how I would have clients who are charged with disorderly conduct or trespass, and they're sitting in jail for six weeks, six months at a time, oftentimes being found not guilty, but it doesn't matter because they still lost their housing their job, their place in college. I had a woman who lost her children, lost her children because she could not afford $3,000 bail. And when I talked to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, they said, well, somebody should be able to give her the money. <laughs> but that's what happens when you have a Commonwealth Attorney who is so out of touch that they don't understand that there are some people who don't have $30 to their name. That a $300 bond is a no bond. 
that there are people who live on park benches and eat what you just starved. There are some Commonwealth attorneys who don't have life experience and understand that that is the reality of these people and they need help more than any of us. I'm not going to take up much time of you people to tell you how challenging it was to say my client's constitutional rights have been violated. They were stopped by walking while black or there was no probable cause to stop them. And being told, well I just want to make this clear to you, counsel, that if you decide to go to trial, or if you decide to challenge this with a motion to suppress, if you want to assert your client's constitutional rights, let me be clear, I will ask for excessive jail time. And I will prosecute this to the fullest. And those charges that I dismissed, they will all be coming back. And I might even add a couple just for the sake of it. This is the normal practice of the Arlington Commonwealth Attorney's Office. And if anyone tells you any different, it is false. Now I am here to talk about Ms. Parisa Taffity. <laughs> life to fairness, equality, and justice. Being a former public defender, working with the Innocence Project, she has spent her entire life of cleaning up the messes that other Commonwealth attorneys have done to making sure that people who have been wrongfully convicted again get to feel the sun on their face and enjoy the freedom that was stripped away from them unlawfully. Now, Ms. Parissa has said, I am tired of working reactively. I am tired of cleaning up these Commonwealth attorneys' messes. And now it's time for me to be the voice of criminal justice reform, to fight for real victims, to protect the community and be smart on crime. Because we all learned that we cannot incarcerate ourselves out of addiction. That's right. <laughs> rhetoric it has to end because it costs us all and it costs us dearly taxpayers children families our community commonwealth attorneys they are the litmus test of whether or not we are a just and fair society and i am excited to have a woman to step up and say i will sacrifice my time my weekends my family because this is so important because I am a real Democrat. And I will bring those real Democratic values to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. She has done the work. She has the experience. She has the resume. And we need her now, in this county, in this community, in this commonwealth, and as we all know right now, in this country. That's right. I am so proud and excited to introduce your next Arlington Commonwealth Attorney. Woo!